Hey, you look good. Sorry I couldn't make it to your birthday party the other day. No, no, it's right now. Come on over. We all miss you. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, it's not actually a good time. Um, I'm at a family dinner. Then why'd you call me? Oh, uh, gotta go. My uncle just choked on a lima bean. Bye. have a full house, why don't we go around the table and introduce ourselves? Uh, we'll say our names and our favorite food and what it is we're struggling with. My name is Lynette, and I struggle with perfectionism and OCD. My favorite food is Greek, and I love rice palaf, and lamb soflaki, and moussaka. I'd really rather not have my turn this session. I have been in sufferance from chronic back pain for years. And I have um, ADD. My name is Timothy, and I am one depressed A little bit about perfectionism and OCD. It's not that I want to think these thoughts. I love, love, love pasta bolognese. Maybe one day I'll bring something for you all. No food in group, Joseph. Control my behavior. Kendra, you're next. Yeah, so I'm Kendra. I have anxiety and depression, aka the classic combo. I guess my favorite food would be anything from a jar or a can, because it's easy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a group based around cognitive behavioral therapy. Does anyone here have any experience with this? Would you mind telling us, Joseph, what is on each side of the triangle? Thoughts, actions, feelings. That's wonderful. How about <coughs> we... Uh, it's not actions, it's behaviors. It's not called cognitive actions therapy. Seriously? I hear your tone, and I choose not to let it affect me. If you have been paying attention, you know I struggle with perfectionism and OCD. It's not my fault I think this way. It's my thoughts that control my behavior. That's exactly right, Lynette. For group, I'm going to have each of you write down three goals to complete each week. Goals are great. I make them all the time. They should be tasks that could be difficult to complete, but will be beneficial for your mental health. This is going to provide structure in your life and gently force you to complete tasks that you might otherwise shy away from because of your mental state. Pasta bolognese. Solid choice. You know it. How'd the party go? Pretty good. It's a cool group of people. Kinda wish she could have been there, but say la vie. Well, hey, the good thing about birthdays is that they're just Meaningless reminders of the constant game that life plays of what's gonna kill us first, our brains or our bodies.
Sorry. It's okay. It's just nice to see you again. I mean, you haven't had me over in a long time. It's been months, really. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. Just one of my goals. What is? Having you over. Huh. Well, what are your other goals? Washing dishes. Practicing tin flute. Oh, speaking of, you gotta go now because I left them until the last minute. It's good to know I've been boiled down to a goal on the same level as a dirty dish. No. It's nice. it's, it, no, I mean, no, it's... Okay, yeah, but... You can stay if you want, I guess, but I need to concentrate. Right. Well, I wouldn't want to burden you in any way. Luca, don't be so sensitive, my god. Right, I'm sensitive. I mean, you get to mope around and go AWOL, but I'm sensitive. Luca, get that you're fucked up right now, but just throw me out so you can learn how to play hot cross buns is a whole other level. Just call me when you get your shit together. from severe depression. Lots of days I can't leave the house. I take care of my grandkids and this makes it really tough. My three goals were to go for a walk, draw a picture, and do something fun with my grandkids. How'd it go? I went for a walk, which I shouldn't have. It was too much. What happened? I'd barely gone a block before I stepped in doggy doo-doo in the shoes that my daughter had given me before she passed. Why is it that when we try to do something that scares us, our fears are proven to be valid? It's because you're putting negative energy into the atmosphere, which makes bad things happen in return. We all need to be more positive. Timothy, I trust you have a good excuse for being tardy. I'd like to go next. As I said, I'm very proud to say I completed all three goals this week. Uh, you can remain seated. I'd like to stand. It shows I'm taking an active role in bettering myself. Now, this week, I managed to cook myself a meal without planning beforehand. And I have two reward goals of going to the movie with a friend and going shopping and buying something without overthinking it. So I got a really cute skirt. Hold up. You're saying that we get reward goals? Everyone makes goals that are specific to their own situation. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure that I could have gone to a movie and bought a skirt too. How the fuck is that a fair goal? And how did your goals go? Fine. Did you complete them? Kind of. Elaborate.
how about everyone else? I had a really hard time completing mine. Thank you for joining us again, Kendra. If you could be so kind as to let us know the next time you're planning an extended bathroom break, and no whispering. We have eight more sessions to get through, and we are, after all, in group for a reason. Yeah, because all the one-on-ones are full. We could all open our workbooks to page 13. We're going to be filling out a questionnaire in which we are honest about our feelings over the last week. When you're done, you can rip them out and hand them in to me, and then you're free to go. These are two words that we play over and over again in our minds. What if I got so depressed I could never leave the house to get groceries and my grandchildren starved to death, right, Bev? Joseph? What if I get so distracted I can never give my wife the attention she deserves and she leaves me? Or what if my back seizes up and I can never walk again, Gordon? And Timothy? What if my loner ways end up getting me kicked out of the house and I end up homeless and alone? And Kendra, what if your negative attitude inhibits you from ever being able to fully enjoy life? You end up taking your life because there's just no point. What I'm trying to outline is this. The future is unclear. And while we can try as hard as we like to control every aspect of our future, willing ourselves to be able to choose our own paths, we can't. I want you to spend five minutes thinking about what the worst possible scenario could be in your life right now. It's a common CBT technique to allow your worries to play through until the end. I think you'll find that imagining this will help free your mind. Door. 
Are we gonna go over our goals? Yes. Would you like to start? Lynette! Perhaps you misunderstood, but as a courtesy to the rest of the group, punctuality is key in this environment. <laughs> so, I completed all three goals this week. I made myself a meal, I went to a movie, and I bought a really cute skirt. Your turn, Lynette. Janet, how can you let him monopolize the room like this? I can only moderate. I have to let the thoughts, feelings, and actions speak for themselves. Well, I truly had a terrible week. I managed mine as well. I went for a 30 minute walk. And I gave away all my old clothes. And I even baked a pie without checking if the crust indentations were symmetrical. And I brought it all for you to try. Thank you, that's wonderful. Just wondering, where'd you donate your old clothes? Oh my, a cheater? No, no, I have all the bags ready to go. The thrift shop was closed when I called, they just haven't received it yet, that's all. <laughs> that means I win, 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 win. Kendra, you know very well the goals are not a competition. <laughs> Well, here we are. Congratulations on making it to the last session. Where's Bev? I regret to inform you that she let me know she was unable to attend today. Wow. It's great to see how well this has been working for everyone. How about Eeyore? <clears throat> if you're referring to Gordon, he has had to opt out of today's session due to a conflicting physiotherapy appointment. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Would you like to share something with us, Timothy? There are only four group members right now. That's an unlucky number. It symbolizes death. <laughs> well, there's actually five of us. I consider myself a member at heart. How about for this last session? We look back over the last 10 weeks and see how we've truly changed. Joseph, I have noticed your concentration levels increase significantly, and your overall happiness seems to be way up. <laughs> and Timothy? Despite today's issues, I think you've shown yourself to be a worthy adversary for depression. Keep on fighting it. And Lynette, you have proved to be a true role model for all of us. You've shown us all that through hard work and perseverance, you really can overcome your own limitations. And Kendra, it's been interesting having you here. I wouldn't have it any other way. Interesting. I have broken my back every week to get these fucking goals done, and I still feel like shit. Lynette gets praise every goddamn time, 
And I sit here feeling like a chump. Anxiety, depression, it doesn't go away. Maybe for a while. Maybe sometimes it ebbs and flows, but it's always there, boiling under the surface, waiting for us to break at any moment. We're never going to get any better. And now what? We're back to being on our own fully equipped with new coping mechanisms to help navigate a better future. <laughs> it doesn't work, and it's bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. <laughs> so one thing I want to encourage all of you to do is to remember that even a small success, even a partial success, is worth celebrating. That's a common CBT technique to celebrate the professional success. There's no shame on getting nine that percent. There's no shame for spending getting nine. Lynette? Oh, great. That's hospital property. Yes, but what does it even matter? They put up more anyways. Besides, I'm not the only villain here. Someone has been vandalizing these. Is that so? Well, we better find out who and turn them in, too. They're actually pretty clever. I kind of admire their artistry. It's me. I'm the poster painter. Why would you be stealing these? Do you think the sunshine's out of this prison's asshole? No, I appreciate them. It's still hard work. I don't understand how they think posters are supposed to help. Well, I can only do so much. They make me feel worse. Like your problem should be an easy fix, and you're an idiot when they're not. Yeah. It's kind of funny how we have something in common. Don't push it. But yeah, who knew you'd have such a dark side to you? Want one for the road? Yes, please. 